Hello. Uh, today I will show you a tip. A tip uh, about this very nice add-on uh, of Blender, the new add-on called uh, Bevel After Boolean. It's an add-on made by Ilya Rodinkov. Uh, and uh, it makes uh, the thing that uh, it says uh, by its uh, title. It uh, bevels the um, Boolean cuts. But uh, we can do many things with this add-on. Uh, you can find many ways of using it. One of the ways I um, I did find it's uh, this tip that I will show you now. It's uh, about lessening uh, the polygon counts of the of the objects. Here, as you see, we have an object uh, that sliced it. It's constituted from three parts. Let's see it. Go to the 3D view and see those three parts. It's the first part, the second part and the third part. Now, if I hide this here, you will see that there's another part behind it. If I hide this here too, you will see that it is the bigger part here. Then we do open them again and you see they constitute a whole uh, unique object, but it's constituted from, th from three parts as I said as uh, we did see. So we want to unify those parts and delete the inner parts, the parts that are hidden. So uh, if we want, uh, uh, s such a thing will lessen, of course, the density of the mesh and it, uh, it will make the, the whole object more light uh, as to its uh, polygon density, polygon uh, amount. So how we can do this thing? It's easy, in fact, it's very easy to understand the tip, the workings of the tip. So, first of all, we will hide this here. Then we will hide this here too. And we will select this here too. Let's examine it if it has some normal problem. I think that it has some normal problem. It's very easy to solve this problem. We go to the edit mode, to the third tab here in the tools, uh, 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 tools uh, tab and select this object, all this object here and click set from faces and it's okay all the normal problems are solved good very nice now we do go again to the edit mode edit mode, good let's uh, uncheck this here for seeing only the front uh, face here so that uh, we may not be perplexed um, and I'm going here and selecting an edge loop here select edge loop select loop in a region uh, no we want to uh, se be selected uh, um, the other side so uh, side of uh, the select loop in the select bounder loop edge ring select, select more select similar inverse okay this part is the part that we want to delete so we do click delete faces and the faces are deleted the inner part is deleted Okay, now we go to the object mode again, we do hide this here, we do open the other one here, and we do the, the same thing. Oh, this too has some problems with the normals, so uh, we do select it, go to edit mode, uh, select it all, good, set from face, and it's okay, object mode. Now we do go here, edit mode again, edit mode, uncheck this here, and make the same thing here too. I mean, we are going and we are selecting an edge loop, select loop in a region, we do delete the face again. Okay, we do go to the back uh, 
side of the object, select an edge loop, edge loops, loop in the region, delete, ok, we have these two here ready, object mode, we do hide this here too, and we go to the bigger part to do the same uh, procedure, uh, we go here, uh, we do see first of all if it has a problem with the normals, no, it has no problem with the normals, here, well, and select it, edit mode, uh, and we are selecting here this edge, so that we may select the edge loop, edge loop, select loop in the region, delete faces, ok, now we do have the mo uh, all the three parts of the uh, object, we do have them ready, as you see, but we have to unify them now, uh, so that uh, they may become uh, a single object, it's easy to do, well, we do go here to the seams, the first thing that we have to do is to uh, to go to the object mode, select this here, select this here, and join them. Control J. Okay, then go into the to the edit mode again. Go here and select those loops here. Edge loops. Now it's very easy to go a further step and to bridge them. So mesh edge bridge edge loops and it's okay those two parts are unified now we 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 are going now first of all we are going again to the uh, we are returning to the object mode we do select this here to join the two parts control j and do the same thing here too Oop, we are going to the edit mode again selecting those two edges select uh, edge loops and then bridge them edges where is it? bridge edge loops ok, now we have all the objects unified it's a single object and we have deleted all the interfaces so that the whole object uh, may become uh, a more light object as this uh, poly count now let's give a rendering to it so that we may see what has happened you will see that everything uh, will go ok well. as you see it's very nice very very nice very nice it's very nice of course uh, um, uh, here you will see that you will discern that uh, because uh, with the uh, with the bridging operation there appears a, a cavity here and so the pointings uh, the pointings shading uh, gives this uh, very dense red uh, color you can uh, deal with it uh, in the shading uh, it's not something difficult uh, and of course uh, of course you can select even inner I mean you can select when you do here the bridging operation you can select even inner um, edge loops of the of the parts so that uh, the two edge loops uh, be very near to each other and uh, there uh, so that uh, the cavity that uh, we did see now uh, uh, will not appear you you can make many things with this of course there are other um, options that you can do here options that you can use here for example, you can do uh, some uh, very interesting kind of uh, kinds of uh, of um, bevelings here in the in the parts in the 
areas that the parts uh, are unified here. Uh, let's go to the object mode, uh, edit mode, and let's select two very uh, outer edge loops here. So, select edge loops. Okay. Select inner region, delete it, face. And you see that we have a, a bigger hole now here. If we do select here other loops, edge loops, and if we unify them, where are them? Mesh, mesh, edge, bridge edge loops. We have a, an edge loop that's, that's uh, wider and see that it appears in another way uh, in the rendering. Okay. Okay. Now... Now we can go to the... Uh, 3D view again and and even you can do some other thing here uh, you can go let delete this uh, those faces here faces you can go and select uh, some uh, very uh, some uh, loops that are in, in uh, very uh, out in in areas that are um, very close to the general surface edge loops select inner loops and delete them faces ok now we do select those two here again select edge loops select inner region no 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 uh, it's select inverse No, 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 select edge loops. Sorry, I, I made a mistake. And mesh, edge, bridge edge loops. Okay, now here we have this here edge loop. As you see, very nice. It makes a very nice cavity here. You can achieve such uh, results too. Let's see it from afar a little bit so that we may understand what's happening on. Yes, here is very evident what happened. As you see now we have a very nice cavity here. Very nicely beveled. Very, very nice. But w we can do even further things. I'll show you now. We are going to the 3D view. We can bevel those here too. So uh, we do select this here, this edge here, and select an edge rig. Then we go to our tools here in the bar, in the tab, loop cut and slide. Whoop. We make we we are making a loop cut, and then we can bevel this loop cut here. Control B B okay here and we can put to it many segments okay very nice very nice go to the object mode and look again to it as you see now here we have another kind of cavity Nice. Uh, 3D view. Okay. Okay. Let's see them how they do appear 
in uh, in another kind of of uh, shading too a more simple shading I mean so let's go here to the um, node editor and get out with the uh, uh, with uh, point in this feature so that we may see what happens there reflective we can make we can make it rougher more rough and here too roughness okay and give to it another uh, color here and render it again well here we can see the bevels uh, in another mode and we can discern what's going on as you see they are very nice shapes wow very very nice as you see so this was the tip that I want to show uh, to you uh, I think that it's a tip that uh, with the use of uh, which you can uh, achieve many things uh, in making many kinds of bevelings of cavities uh, it's a very useful tip I think I think so uh, thank you and see you uh, in another uh, tutorial maybe in the future uh, thank you for watching bye